Oh yeah, the knee feel real good. I'm, I'm, I'm right where I'm at. Were you not able to scrimmage? Did you have to be held out of that because precaution for your knee? Yeah. I was kind of held back a little bit. Hey, Grandmama. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of held back. Close enough to be undied, helping them get uh, prepared for something. So it seems like when I've seen you, at least in practice, it seems like a lot more energy a little bit behind you than maybe this time last year. Is it just the new staff's kind of invigorated you, changes? What, why do you think that is? It's a di different atmosphere. Like, coming out of practice, it's just feel like it's a joy. We have fun out there, music playing. We score coach wants us to celebrate. She's like, since last year, there was no music to celebrate. Like, it's strictly business, but it's, I like it so better. You, you used to see that resonate with everybody, a lot of other people are kind of seems like you see other guys too that seem like they've got a spring in their step when maybe they didn't last fall. Yeah, yeah it's exciting to play for the coach staff because they, they can relate to us more and they bring energy. But what's Coach Kelly like? I mean, he seems like we talked to him, they call him Pops or whatever, but I mean, what, what's that like for a guy like that? Play for that? Coach, he's the GOAT. <laughs> You know, you done coached a lot of great. You coached Jay Wright, Larry Fitzgerald, so he taught us a lot. He's still teaching us a lot. What are some of the teaching things he's taught you that maybe were new for you that you didn't know before? This is like simple things. Um, keep your eye on the ball, hold the ball tight, don't swing the ball while running. Simple tools to be a great shooter. Earlier we were talking to Coach Taggart and both Coach Kelly, and they brought up Keyshawn as one of the guys. Here's a guy who really was not recruited by anybody. Enough as you got him late. You see a little edge in this kid because he didn't really, nobody really recruited him that hard. Man, I see that kid got so it's not like he got so good. It was like a younger me, man. When I first came there. He got that dog just like I had with both three stars, with both little dudes, you know, come from the little city. And now everybody's doubting me because he's a little guy. Nobody can play here, but we're really stepping up and showing that he's going to be a starter. Is that kind of with all you guys? I remember there's an early practice and I heard Coach Kelly saying, nobody's talking about the wide receivers. I mean, everybody's forgot about you. Do you guys have a little edge to go out this year and prove something? Most definitely. Yeah, in the last few years, I haven't been a receiver that have been over 1,000 yards or any uh, that went in the first two rounds, so we're trying to change that right here. Coach mentioned the lack of draft picks as a receiver. Does that kind of motivate you and this group, and this is your last year, your chance to impress the scouts too? It definitely motivates me because I feel like it's really like a special step because you're at Florida State and nobody's like you had attention to Florida State receivers. Like, it's never been like that. Like, that's the reason I came with that 2013 team. All those guys are balling, so we got to get back to that. Your focus has been on the knee and the rehab and getting back on the field, but where do you think you're going to be better as a senior than you were maybe last year? Um, learn how to protect myself. Instead of going out there and playing wild, I know how to protect myself much better. You mentioned not having a thousand yard receiver. I'm taking that's one of your goals this year. Almost definitely. You're going to keep that under the rug. <laughs> And how about the depth of that position? And last year again, it seemed like you guys weren't real deep there. And now you got a couple freshmen coming out. You got DJ emerged at the end of last year. He's going to be in there. What's that going to be like in terms of having several guys to rely on instead of just one or two? I mean, we got a lot of big time guys, a lot of guys that make plays down the field. We got a lot of guys that catch a hitch or a screen and take it to the house. So we just got to all bring that together and um, take it to Saturday. And how's picking up the up tempo offense been for your unit? I mean, it's, it's kind of tough because, you know, we used to run pro style, so it's not the little huddle. We used to be looking at singles on the sideline, but now I'm like fast, fast, fast. So it's kind of the condition is different. I can tell you that part. Is that where the depth comes in? It's going to be important for you guys because you can't go, I mean, 80, 90 plays on the field where you guys are. Oh, yeah, most definitely. That's where the depth comes because, like I said, we go down, we run a deep ball way down the field, we go, we try to keep the tempo up. We got somebody up there that can come in and we just build that trust. So, so we know that thing will be coming off the bench. So we can do that real Thanks, Danny. Yeah.